All right, so we have this future value annuities question over here, and we are trying to find the interest rate in this question. So I want to try and isolate the I, but is that even possible? I'm going to start by moving the 150 to the other side, dividing it on the other side. So 25,000 divided by 150 is just 500 over 3. Now the next thing I have to do is I have to multiply this on the other side. So the problem is once I multiply this on the other side, if I move the one over next, I won't be able to isolate uh, the I because I'll have an I on both sides. I'll have to get rid of the exponent, which is gonna create a 20th root. It's gonna be pretty hard to actually isolate this. So instead of isolating this, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to do a little bit of a substitution to make this a bit easier. So just let A equal to I over 12, or you can use any letter. So now I have 500 over three equals one plus A to the exponent of 20 minus one divided by A. And now I'll multiply the A over to the other side. So 500 over three A, equals one plus a to the power of 20 minus one. Now again, this equation is impossible to solve. So how do we find the value of a that satisfies this equation? Well, we just do a guess and check method. What we do know is that this is a linear equation positive slope and a y-intercept of zero. Just looks like that. And this is an exponential equation. So it's going to look something like this. And there is going to be an intersection point eventually. And this intersection point is basically the solution for A. Now, in order to find that, like I said, we're just going to have to do guess and check because there's honestly no other way to do it. So we know that values of A have to be a decimal value most probably to solve these questions. So I'm gonna start with subbing A as 0 0.1. Let's see what I get. So on the left side, I have 500 over three times 0 0.1, and that's just 16.67. Let's have it here on the right side. And I get 5.73. So they're pretty far apart. Let's try A as 0 0.2, just to see if they get closer or further away. I sub an A on the left side over here, 500 over 3 times 0.2, I get 33.3. Now if I sub it on the right side, I get 37.34. So now I notice they are much closer together which means my solution is probably between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2, probably very close to 0 0.2. So let's, let me try A as 0 0.18. Sub that in, in the first equation. And I get exactly 30. And let's sub it in this equation over here. I get 26.39. So now I've noticed this value has gone too low. This value has gone a bit lower. The difference here is almost the same as the difference here, but now this number is smaller than this one. So most probably 
the right solution is between these two again. I'm going to try 0.19. This one is 31.43. And this one I'm assuming is going to be pretty close to this, maybe not exactly the same. Oh, it's exactly the same. Oh no, subbed in the wrong equation. One. Nine, 31.67. Okay, so what do you notice now is these are really close, which means our solution is pretty much right next to 19%. If I look at this one over here, I can tell that I have to probably go slightly less, so maybe 0 0.188. This one's 31.33 and this one is too low now. So I actually went in the wrong direction. You can tell I went in the wrong direction because the gap is getting larger. Because if you look at the gap over here, it's just 0 0.2 approximately, but over here the gap is larger. So it means I've gone in the wrong direction which means I should try 0 0.192, something slightly above 0 0.19. I get 32.54 for this one. I get exactly 32 for this one. So I've gone up by too much, which means it's between 0 0.19 and 0 0.192. So I'm going to try 0 0.191, which is obviously the only one really in the middle. And if I use 0 0.191, I get 31.83 and 31.97. So now it's really, really close. I mean, if you want to take it and get it to two decimal places, your final answer, we need to go one more decimal place. Because when we multiply the interest rate by 12, I guess this is this is close enough because we're going to eventually multiply the interest rate. So you don't have to actually go to a fourth decimal place over here because we're going to eventually replace A with I over 12. So I over 12 equals to 0 0.191. And then if I multiply the 12 on the other side, I get the interest rate to be 2.292. And basically, in this case, you got to multiply by 100 to turn it into a percent. So that's 229.2%.